Hello, it's Crafty Rhea, and I'm back again with another video. I went through my scrap paper drawer and I wrangled some of the scraps. And I'm going to bring you a cute little project that you can do with little bits of scrap paper that you think aren't big enough to do anything else with. So we're going to have some fun. I'm going to set this part aside because that will be for part two. So I'm starting with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock. This is a little flimsier than the cardstock that I normally use for a card base, but that's okay. I don't want it too thin, but I don't want it too thick either because I'm going to be layering my scrap paper on top of it and I want it to be a decent um, weight. I don't want it too thick or too thin. You can use any paper for the background that you want for the base. If you have, um, if it has printing on one side, that's okay. You can either use the plain side up or the printed side up. It doesn't matter. If you have a whole bunch of a certain color cardstock, go ahead and use that. Whatever you have, go ahead and use. I'm going to be taking these little pieces of scrap papers. I tried to get all ones that were brightly colored um, that would complement each other and look good together. You can use maybe all blue or all pink or anything you have in your scrap drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I want to thank my friend Valerie, my BFF. She gave me this idea. So I'm going to give her partial credit for it. Or really, probably, I should give her all credit for it. You can take your paper and have it any orientation you want. And what I'm going to do is just start placing these pieces down. I don't want to think about it too much. I don't want to, I don't want to worry about how they're really going to look. And it doesn't matter if they all line up perfectly or even if they cross over each other. That's too similar. So I want to think about it a little bit, but I don't want to overthink it. So anyway, I'm going to be doing something similar to this. So I will be using this paper and I'm going to start with some pieces, maybe smaller pieces. I'll start with that one. I don't want to overthink it, but of course that's what I'm doing. I want to put a generous amount of tape on the back because I'm going to be cutting this. I, I chose an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper because I want to cut it in fourths and make little collages. So I want to think carefully about where I'm placing these and if they're not lined up on the edge perfectly, that's okay. We can trim the edges off. I think I'll put that one like that. And I want to put enough adhesive that if I trim the paper smaller than that, these pieces won't fall off. Now this piece has a, um, a wrinkle in it, so I'm just going to cut that wrinkle off. This piece has a funny edge on it, so I'm just going to trim that funny edge off. I think it was in a, it was, you know, a pad of paper, and I'm going to cut it just randomly into smaller pieces. I think that'll be good. You can overlap them if the edges don't meet up perfectly, that's okay. You 
you can lay them all out before you start this. That's fine too. And you're basically just fitting them in like you're playing Tetris or you're working a puzzle. You can use your glue and glue your pieces down if you want as well. And that might actually be easier to do and quicker. So let me grab my glue and see how I like doing it with my glue for the next pieces here. This is a scrap from a, a card. I think I'll just put it against this side. And it's okay if it goes over the edge of the paper because you can trim the edges. I'm just going to put this whole strip just like that. And I'll trim that off. I mostly wanted to trim that off because I had glue on the back. Yeah, I think the um, glue is a quicker way to to cover the paper. This is a great way to use up some of your smaller scraps. This really pretty orange, it has um, blue on the other side, but I kind of like the orange. I think I'll kind of put it right there. Make some neat designs on the back just for fun. And that is cool too. I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. And I think I'll stick that piece right there. So they can overlap each other a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's your piece of art. Do whatever you like with it. See, I haven't used any of this yet, and that piece will fit perfectly right in that corner. I 
And that leaves just a little sliver of white there, which I don't want. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off. And I'm just going to put it right there just to cover over that little sliver. Then I want to kind of take a gander at it and see if there's any other pieces that need to be covered up and I don't think so. So as you can see I have plenty more scraps left over. I could do this over and over again. I'm just going to show you the one example and then we'll go from there. Now there is a little sliver of white there as well. Let's see if I want to put a piece of something there to cover over that. It actually goes all the way down. I'll trim a little piece off. And I'm just going to stick that, I think I'll stick it this way, just to cover that little sliver of white because it just looks a little unfinished. There we go. I'll set that aside and I will cut it apart when I do the second one. And we'll have a surprise and see what it turns out to be. So I have another piece of paper and this is the idea that Valerie gave me. She said that I could use Christmas cards and different card scraps from my recycled cards. So I have this box it says card scraps, and I always just stick my little pieces of card scraps in here. I, the rest of the box, I went through it all, and they're mostly um, sentiments. When you're going through your Christmas card scraps, you want to make sure for this project you're not using anything that if you cut it in half it will be ruined like um, a Santa Claus or a snowman or something like that or even a sentiment. You want it to be uh, more of an abstract design like this was from one of the cards I just made the other day. This is small enough where I doubt it will get cut in half if I put it in a corner. Got a little piece of a house and just some pattern paper. And then there's another little Christmas tree. And then just some decorative pieces. A string, of, a couple strings of lights. Take the sentiments out. And just some decorative pieces. And then I found some whole cards that were not very interesting enough, I think, to recycle on their own. I'm going to cut off the greeting there and use that for something else, but then I have the top and the bottom of this, and then again with this, I'm going to probably cut that out and use it as an embellishment, but the rest of this is just a little bland. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these apart to start off with. I will cut the front off, and for this card I will save the sentiment on the inside, either that or use the Christmas tree on the back. And what I will do for this is, I'll cut it there and I'll have that piece of paper. cut that piece off as well as this other side. And I can cut this out with my decorative scissors and use that as an embellishment. 
but then I have those two pieces and this card I will cut off that ragged edge and then I will cut out where the sentiment is set the sentiment aside and then I have those two pieces I also went through my Christmas card or my Christmas paper stash drawer and I found some um, scraps of Christmas paper that I may need to fill in the gaps. We'll see how far we can get with the cards. And you can use pieces as big or as little as you want. If you want all really small pieces, you can do the same the same thing with small pieces. It's however you want. I have some really big pieces here that I will work with. I'm going to use tape on the back of this because this is um, flimsier and I'm afraid the glue will make it buckle. I think I will put it this way. because I really don't want these to get cut in half. Valerie, I hope you um, post some of the cards you made with these in our Facebook group. That would be really, really cool. This piece has a little bit of glitter on it. It's kind of pretty. Thank you. 
I'm just trying to find what goes, what will fit where. I'm not really trying too hard to match up the colors. I just don't want anything, you know, too crazy on one side or another. Trying to find what would fit there pretty good. That piece is too narrow. I might just go ahead with this blue piece. It's a little too wide, but it'll be okay. This was a piece that I embossed and with one of my embossing folders. for in here. That's not quite wide enough of that piece there. I think that piece is good enough. Just looking at the rest of my pieces, trying to decide what I want to do with them. I don't want too many pieces close to each other, and I'm afraid if I put this here, it's in the middle, and that will get cut in half. I think I'll just use that piece. I have some really pretty decorative gold pieces that I might just want to put on here somewhere, maybe against there. That's really pretty.
and I have a smaller piece of this gold. I think I'll put that there. That goes just about perfectly right there. I have this piece. It's um, decorative. It's got some uh, pretty glitter on it. I might just put it over there because there's a little gap there. I'll cut it off right at that red. So I think I will stop at that. We just have that piece covered up. I'll move all of this out of the way. Close up my glue. And then I have my two pieces here. So I want to cut these in quarters. So I'm going to mark on the back five and a half inches. I guess I can measure it on here because this does go to six. I don't know what I was thinking of, but I could measure it at five and a half. And I'm just going to cut this in half. And then I will cut it again at four and a quarter. And I will do the same with this one. Cut it at four and a quarter. I will do the same with this. I'll cut it at five and a half. Now if you have a whole bunch of scraps, you can make a whole bunch of these pages and just save them and use them as card bases. So we have these. I think they're kind of cool. You can just use them and put some embellishments on them. And you've got yourself a card. I think something like an owl or something would look really good on this one. And then you could have it say up here like happy birthday or whatever. And you could trim it down a little bit and mat it on a card, you know, on a complimentary color, or you can leave it that size. I won't trim them down until I want to use them on a card. And then we have the four Christmas ones. Like this one, I would definitely trim this edge because it is not lined up perfectly. This one you'd probably want to use in this orientation. And I do need to trim this one a little bit more. Because it came out a little raggedy. There we go, that's much, much better. And I think I will have to do this side again too. I think what happened with some of these, they were so thick, they didn't go through good the first time. And then of course I would trim up that edge because there's a little bit of white. 
and I didn't get the glue, see what I meant about getting the glue all the way to the edge. I didn't do that on here. There we go. So we got the glue all the way to the edge on that one. I will clean up this rough edge. There we go. And then we have that one. And you can cut them down smaller if you wish. It's a great way to wrangle up your scraps and to make something new out of your small pieces of scraps. Something like this might go good as the centerpiece on this card. Anyway, you get the idea. Go ahead and use your small pieces of scraps. Make yourself some card bases, journaling blocks, whatever you want to use them for. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I appreciate each and every one of you. I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I enjoy reading all of your comments. I try to respond to as many as I can. If you haven't yet joined my group, Create with Crafty Rhea, head on over there and see what we're creating. And hopefully my BFF Valerie will post some of the cards she made. Hers came out really, really cute. Thanks again for watching. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.